Welcome back to Bar Stories. Today we're talking about one of the most significant factors affecting your flights in and out of Sydney, the airport curfew. Why is Sydney's airport closed during certain hours and how does this compare to airports in Australia and around the world? Plus, we'll explore how the new Western Sydney airport is set to change everything and what politicians have been saying about this issue. Let's get into it. Sydney Airport, a bustling hub of activity, falls quiet each night. As the sun sets and the last flights of the day touch down, the terminal transitions from a hive of movement to a serene, almost eerie calm. This is due to a strict curfew, a set of rules limiting flights during certain hours. The curfew is designed to minimise noise pollution and ensure that the surrounding communities can enjoy a peaceful night's sleep. From 11pm to 6am, the skies above Sydney are mostly silent, a stark contrast to the roar of planes during the day. During these hours, the airport's runways lie empty and the gates are devoid of the usual hustle and bustle. This curfew has been a point of contention for decades, impacting residents, travellers and the aviation industry. While many appreciate the quiet, others argue that it hampers economic growth and limits travel options. The curfew is not absolute, with some exceptions for emergencies and specific aircraft types. For instance, medical evacuation flights and certain cargo planes are allowed to operate during these restricted hours. However, for the most part, Sydney Airport's operations halt during these hours. The stillness of the night is a stark reminder of the balance between progress and peace. This video will explore the reasons behind this curfew, its impact compared to other airports, and the game-changing arrival of Western Sydney Airport a 24-7 operation that promises to reshape air travel in the region. The new airport aims to provide a solution to the limitations imposed by the curfew, offering round-the-clock service and potentially transforming Sydney into a more competitive global aviation hub. Sydney's airport curfew wasn't always in place. In fact, it was a significant change that came about after much debate and consideration. It was implemented in 1995 after years of complaints from residents living under flight paths. These residents had long endured the constant noise of aircraft which disrupted their daily lives and sleep. Noise pollution from aircraft, particularly during the night, was a major concern. The loud sounds of planes taking off and landing at all hours created a significant disturbance affecting the health and well-being of those living nearby. The curfew was seen as a compromise, balancing the needs of residents with the economic importance of the airport. It was a solution that aimed to reduce noise pollution while still allowing the airport to function effectively. The curfew operates under strict guidelines. These guidelines are designed to ensure that the noise levels are kept to a minimum during the night, providing some relief to the affected residents. Between 11 p.m. and 6 a.m., only a limited number of flights are permitted and these are subject to noise restrictions. This means that only quieter aircraft are allowed to operate during these hours. Aircraft movements are also limited during shoulder periods, the hours immediately before and after the curfew. These periods are crucial for maintaining a balance between operational needs and community peace. Airlines must carefully plan their schedules to comply with these regulations, impacting flight availability and passenger convenience. This careful planning ensures that the curfew is respected and the needs of both the airport and the community are met. Sydney's curfew is unique in Australia. No other major Australian airport has comparable restrictions. Melbourne Airport, for example, operates 24-7 with noise mitigation measures in place to minimise disruption to residents. Brisbane Airport has a curfew, but it is less restrictive than Sydney's, allowing for more flights during curfew hours. This difference in regulations reflects the unique challenges faced by Sydney. As Australia's busiest airport, located close to the city centre and residential areas, managing noise pollution is a significant concern. The curfew, though controversial, has been effective in reducing noise complaints from residents living under flight paths. Looking internationally, airport curfews are not uncommon, particularly in densely populated areas. London Heathrow, one of the world's busiest airports, has a strict nighttime curfew similar to Sydney. Frankfurt Airport, another major hub, also operates under curfew restrictions. However, many major airports around the world operate 24-7. 
Dubai International Airport, a major global transit hub, has no curfew, with flights arriving and departing throughout the night. Similarly, Hong Kong International Airport operates around the clock, catering to the demands of international travel. Section 5. Passenger Plights, the Curfew's Impact on Travel Plans Sydney's curfew has a direct impact on travellers. Limited flight availability during curfew hours means fewer options for passengers, particularly those travelling on early morning or late night flights. This can lead to inconvenient connections, longer travel times and higher fares. Stories abound of passengers stranded in Sydney due to the curfew, forced to spend the night in the airport or pay for expensive accommodation. Business travellers in particular feel the impact with limited options for early morning meetings or late night departures. The curfew adds a layer of complexity to travel planning, impacting both domestic and international passengers. Section 6. Political Platforms Differing Views on Sydney's Curfew The curfew has been a long-standing political issue in Sydney. Politicians have grappled with balancing the needs of residents the aviation industry and the broader economy. Some argue for maintaining or even tightening the curfew, citing the importance of protecting residents from noise pollution. Others advocate for relaxing or abolishing the curfew, arguing that it hinders economic growth and restricts Sydney's competitiveness as a global city. The debate often centres around the economic benefits of a 24-7 airport versus the impact on the quality of life for residents living under flight paths. Section 7, Western Sydney Airport, a new dawn for Sydney's skies. The arrival of Western Sydney Airport in 2026 is set to transform Sydney's aviation landscape. Unlike Sydney Airport, WDAOSA will operate 24-7 with no curfew restrictions. This will significantly increase flight capacity in the region, offering more options for passengers and boosting economic activity. WSA is located further from the city centre than Sydney Airport. In a less densely populated area, this reduces the impact of noise pollution on residents, allowing for 24-7 operations. The airport is designed with noise mitigation measures in mind, further minimising disruption to surrounding communities. Section 8, no more nighttime silence, 24-7 operations at Western Sydney. The 24-7 operation of Western Sydney Airport will be a game changer for Sydney. It will allow airlines to schedule flights at any time, offering greater flexibility and convenience for passengers. This will be particularly beneficial for international travellers, allowing for more direct flights and smoother connections. The increased flight capacity will also boost tourism and trade as businesses can operate more efficiently with fewer restrictions. The 24-7 operation will create jobs and stimulate economic growth, positioning Sydney as a more competitive global city. Section 9. Impacts and Opportunities Reshaping Sydney's Air Travel Landscape The introduction of Western Sydney Airport and its 24-7 operation will have a profound impact on Sydney's air travel landscape. It will create competition between the two airports, potentially leading to lower fares and improved services for passengers. Western Sydney Airport will also attract new airlines and routes further enhancing Sydney's connectivity to the world. The increased capacity will ease congestion at Sydney Airport, improving the travel experience for passengers. Section 10 COVID-19's echo, a shift in noise complaint trends. Interestingly, the COVID-19 pandemic, which drastically reduced air travel, has provided insights into the impact of aircraft noise. With fewer flights, noise complaints from residents near Sydney Airport decreased significantly. This suggests that while the curfew does play a role in reducing noise pollution, the sheer volume of flights is a major contributing factor. This raises questions about the future of noise management as air travel recovers and Western Sydney Airport comes online. Section 11 Sydney's Airports, a future of choices and changes. Sydney's aviation future is poised for change with significant developments on the horizon that promise to transform the way we travel. 
The introduction of Western Sydney Airport with its 24-7 operation will reshape the city's air travel landscape, offering new opportunities and challenges. This new airport is expected to alleviate congestion at the existing Sydney Airport, providing a much-needed alternative for both domestic and international flights. The existing curfew at Sydney Airport will likely remain a point of debate, with ongoing discussions about its economic and social impact. Residents living near the airport have long voiced concerns about noise pollution, while businesses argue that lifting the curfew could boost economic activity. As Sydney evolves into a global city with two major airports, balancing the needs of residents, businesses and travellers will be crucial. The dual airport system aims to enhance connectivity and support the city's growth, but it also requires careful planning and coordination. Finding innovative solutions to manage noise pollution, improve passenger experience and ensure the sustainable growth of the aviation industry will be key to Sydney's success. This includes investing in eco-friendly technologies, enhancing airport amenities and implementing effective noise monitoring systems to create a harmonious environment for all stakeholders.